Okay, so I've uh, I've written a lot of monologues before, but usually um, they're plays in which there, are, there there's more than one monologue. So two or three characters will have monologues that play off each other or interact or throw certain kinds of light on on you know it, it, one person's story throws a certain kind of light on another person's story. And this one is simpler. It's just one character who tells us a story from beginning to end. It's simpler, but it's sort of purer. And you have to make just the story you are telling work. You don't have the slight tricksiness of being able to kind of pull the rug out from under the events you've 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 already described. There's maybe a certain tricksiness in 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 telling a story and then sort of jumping back and saying, "Aha! You thought it was like this, but it was actually like that." With this, you just have to tell the story that you've got and make it work. Yeah. What do we do? Well, if we start by just reading it. <clears throat> and then uh, immediately I go away and rewrite bits of it when I realise that um, the bits of it don't work. Because I think you know one of the problem with the one of the problems with a, a play is that you can't hold it all in your head at once. You can hold a scene in your head and, and see if that all works. But a play, uh, you need to be able to sit back and, and hear it. So the first day of rehearsals is fantastic when you get to hear the, the actors actually read it or an actor in this case because there's only one of them um so yeah so then i sat up till quite late last night um rewriting some bits and then this morning we've read them and uh, they all work i think and then we, we we've just gone through the script in detail it's like taking out a comma in the middle of a sentence and changing it to a semicolon um so to begin with, it's just making sure the script works and talking about what's going on with the character underneath the things she says. Because, you know, she says quite a lot, but there are things she doesn't say. There are things she uh, lies about and there are things she doesn't want to tell us, even as she's telling the story of, of her life.